welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel Amma. Now today I'm going to share with you all the things that happened to my body when I went vegan. So that is the good, the bad, the ugly, the things that went wrong and the things that went right. I want to keep it honest. I want to keep it 100 with you guys. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. At the end, I'm also going to touch on any tips I have for new vegans and a question that I've been getting asked a lot and that is about supplements. What I might or might not be supplementing my body with. I hope you guys enjoy this video video and let's get straight in. So the first thing I noticed when I went vegan was I was so much lighter. Like it's really hard to explain but it's almost like you're just floating a little bit higher on the ground than you was before. There's not all the meat weighing you down and your body's not taking all this time to digest all this meat and it just makes you lighter. It's hard to explain but you just you're, you're floating a little bit higher and I'm, I'm telling you guys it's true and in turn it makes you feel so much more energized and active like it's real I'm not making it up that is genuinely what happened to me so the second thing that I noticed was that I was hungry every night 12 o'clock I am starving my belly is rumbling I'm hungry I need food now that was so annoying all it was is that I needed to learn more about being vegan so obviously before I was getting a lot more protein from meat and fish so all I needed to do essentially was find a way to get some more plant-based proteins in my meals and have more food once I figured that out I was fine I was no longer hungry all the time I just needed to take a little bit of time out to research a few more plant-based proteins to fuel my body with and then I was fine it's just a little hiccup and this is just what happened to me. So the third thing I noticed was my skin started to break out in these little spots on the top of my forehead and I was getting headaches. Now, all I did for that was drink plenty of water. Now, I believe it's because my body just needed a bit of time to adjust to this new diet. So after about two weeks of drinking loads of water and making sure that I was eating a good amount of plant-based food and a lot of nutrients in my plant-based foods, I was fine. It was, in my opinion, it was just a bit of a detox period for me. After that, I was fine. My skin started to flourish. My headaches disappeared again. I do not get headaches. That was just a two-week hiccup and I was fine. It could have been anything, but I do feel like my body was just adjusting. The third thing I noticed was my cellulite. I have never had an athletic or naturally toned and slim body. I was so sporty growing up. I wanted to be a professional football player. I wanted to be a professional dancer. I was on every school sport team. I was on the after school clubs doing the sports, but for some reason I was always chubby. Now I dealt with that by, you know, going to the gym and keeping fit. But it wasn't until I went on this plant-based diet that I really saw my cellulite start to just deteriorate. Like, and I wasn't expecting it. And that's how you know it was real. And suddenly I looked in the mirror and I was like, wow, it's literally like just going down. Now it hasn't completely gone. It's just kind of like a natural part of my body, but it's significantly like reduced, significantly. So that was one of the greatest things that I noticed in my body's transformation on my vegan diet. So the fourth thing I noticed was my skin, hair and nails. Now, my nails are so strong now. Like even when I'm doing Muay Thai, my nails, they never break. I even went to get my toes done. I hate the word toes. <sighs> Uh, but yeah, I went to get my toes done and she went to cut my toenail and it was hard. She had to like use a lot more force than she was expecting. It took, it took a moment because they are just so strong. Also, my hair is growing through well. My skin is flourishing. So that is from eating a healthy plant-based diet and drinking plenty of water. And in terms of spots, I also wanted to mention, if you have me on Instagram, then you know, I recently went on a soy overdose. Interestingly, about, oh, I can't remember, seven, 10 years ago, somewhere around that mark, I went from normal milk to plant-based milks. And the only one that was really available in all the supermarkets near me was soy milk. So I was having soy milk every day. And I remember this clearly, I was doing work experience in the summer holidays. I was having a soy hot chocolate every day, like a huge one. A few weeks into it, I noticed that every day at about 12 o'clock, I was crying and I couldn't understand where I I was crying no one had made me sad I wasn't feeling low about myself I was in an okay place I was a teenager I was in work experience life wasn't too serious and for some reason I was crying and I didn't know why and then I'd be fine it's 12 o'clock I cry then I'm fine next day go to work 12 o'clock I'm crying 
So I started to look at the food I was eating and the only thing that was different was incorporating soy milk into my life. And obviously once I researched about soy milk and how it can affect your body and can affect your hormones, I was like, yeah, this soy is not for me. So I cut it out, stopped crying, everything was fine. And then recently I have been incorporating more tofu and soy into my diet. I just saw other people eating tofu and I kind of was like, I want to eat tofu too. So I started eating a lot more tofu. Before long, I um, my face started getting very spotty, my back got spotty, my boobs were hurting and I could just tell that something was off and this wasn't how my body typically works and the only thing that was different was I started eating more soy again. So obviously I was like <coughs> So for about two, three weeks now I haven't had any soy based products and my spots had cleared up, my boobs no longer hurt, and everything has kind of normalized again. Cause soy is kind of like a controversial topic. Like there's so many studies that are contradictory. I personally am going to be avoiding it again because it just is not for my body at all. It doesn't work for me. I know some people have lived their lives on soy and like, what do you mean? It's not for me. That was kind of sidetracked, but I thought it was relevant and some of you might be able to relate to it. The fifth thing I noticed was my number twos. They are just amazing. I know, sorry if you don't like talking about poos, but my poos are just significantly amazing. Now about, I don't know, eight, 10 years ago, I was diagnosed with IBS. Uh, I went to see loads of specialists because I had a lot of pains. I would cry, I'd be in so much pain. I wasn't going to the toilet. I had operations to figure out what was wrong. No one could find out what was wrong with me. Then my mum said to me one day, I think you're lactose intolerant, uh, cut out dairy, and I did. And cutting out dairy changed my life. All the pains, all the cysts, all the problems that I had that were unexplained was simply sorted by cutting out dairy and eventually going on a plant-based diet. Now I know IBS is this broad spectrum. There's so many different reasons why you might have IBS. For me personally, it was simply dietary. Cut out the dairy, cut out the meat. Rachel is pooing like a <laughs> Uh, also the chia seeds. My mum introduced me to chia seeds about six, seven years ago. I noticed in the comments some people were like, wow, so many chia seeds. Ah, I love chia seeds. Like, I need chia seeds. They are just life for me. I go two to three times a day and they're beautiful ones. They're not like, oh, what have I eaten? They are healthy. If you are able to get rid of the waste in your body, you are essentially operating at a better optimum rate. If you're holding on to it for days on end, um, your body is not in a good place and that's not where it should be. So at the minute I am thriving and I love it. Now those are the main things that happened to my body when I went on a vegan diet. Now everybody is different, these were just what happened to me. So my tips for new vegans. Typical things that people say vegans are low in from memory are obviously B12, some say calcium, iron, zinc, vitamin D, um, there might be a few others, but either way, first thing to do is go to the doctors and get your bloods down and figure out if you are low in B12, if you are low in iron, and if you are, then you have to look for routes to kind of supplement that. Now, I'm not a doctor, obviously, but that's what I did. I went to find out what I was low in. So I do take a B12 spray. Now everybody's body absorbs nutrients and minerals at a different rate. You can't really compare yourself to someone else. You have to figure out what your body might be low in or thriving in. So the best way to do that is to get some tests done. And then keep these tests up. Every few months, go to the doctor. See, has my B12 dropped? Has my iron dropped? Do I need more vitamin D? And that's not even if you're going on a plant-based diet. That is just on any diet. You wanna make sure that you are getting enough nutrients and vitamins for your body to thrive. So that is my advice. Once you have found out what you are lacking in is when you can figure out whether you're gonna take supplements or you're gonna start using food to supplement that. If you're looking to get a bit more iron in the body, look at your spirulina, look at your wheat grass. If you're looking to get more omegas in your body, look at your chia seeds, look at your flax seeds, look at your hemp seeds, there are plant-based alternatives to these nutrients and vitamins that are typically found in meat so you can find those ways too so I hope that answers some of the questions that I have been getting I would also like to say for anyone thinking about going vegan 
It is an amazing journey to be a part of. Honestly, truly amazing. Not only are you choosing to help and save animals, you're choosing to help the environment reduce the CO2 emissions. You're also helping to look after your body. You're being compassionate to the universe. You're being compassionate to your body and you're being compassionate to animals. And that is something to be proud of. It's an amazing movement. There are so many vegans out there that are gonna help you, that are vegans to go to dinner with. It's just a really great, turning in time you know the universe is shifting into a much more compassionate time and being vegan is part of it and it's a lot of fun the food the recipes being creative swapping out this for that it honestly can be really fun if you let it be don't force it enjoy it i don't want to ramble too much be compassionate to yourself guys it's such a great journey to be on Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments down below if you have any other questions to do with my vegan journey that I can answer and I can put them in the next video that I upload. Don't forget to like this video if you did enjoy it and subscribe to my channel for new videos every week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. I love Jay Versace and his taste in music is down to a T, like down to a T. Sometimes he will post a video of a song and I'll be like, damn, because he's younger than me in it. I mean, not that much, but quite a bit. And I'm like, damn. I mean, I know I'm still young for the songs, but it's just beautiful that they're still being carried on. I know when I have kids, they are definitely pumping all this kind of music.